Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I'll be unboxing and testing all these power banks. I have this uh, Xiaomi power bank. This is a 20,000 milliamp hour 45 watts power bank with a power delivery capability. So I'm very happy with this power bank. But now there are a lot of power banks that is more capable than my 45 watt power bank. The main product that I'll be testing and reviewing is this 100 watt power bank from Basis this is one of the first power bank to feature a 100 watt power output so i'm quite excited to test this power bank and this is also a massive power bank this is a 30,000 milliamp hour power bank with a 65 watt power delivery output so this is also quite exciting and others are standard power banks the remaining power banks from basis are 20,000 milliamp hour 22.5 watt power bank and this is the 10,000 milliamp hour 22.5 watt fast charging power banks and this I heard this is quite thin so we'll see that and uh, I have already reviewed this power bank charger from Xiaomi this is a 67 milliamp hour power bank inbuilt with a charger so this also gives a 50 watt output with the charger but 18 watts from the power bank this is also quite useful that I have uh, already tested and so I just wanted to show uh, the different kinds of power banks that I have right now. So now let's dive into the four power banks from Basis and check their capabilities and I'll also test the output capability of the power bank whether it matches the specified uh, ratings in their uh, specification. So let's test it. First let's unbox this 100 watt power bank. The packaging is really nice as you can see and they have the accessories here. The accessory is a USB type C cable and I think this supports up to 65 watts or 100 watts of uh, power. This falls out as you can see. This is the power bank and it comes with a carrying case so that is quite nice as you can see here. And these are the user manual and so on. This is the 100 watt power bank. And these are the specifications as you can see here. I list out the specifications on the screen. Uh, it has two USB-C input and output. So they support both input and output uh, with this USB type C. They also have the USB type A outputs here. And there is a power button. And let's remove this. Let's check the battery status. Unfortunately, the power bank uh, comes with no charge. So I need to charge it. And fortunately, we can test the charging capability of the power bank. As you can see, I have connected uh, my charger. My charger is a 130 watt GAN charger and it is currently charging at the around 62 watts. So that is uh, correct as per the specifications of the power bank. It is supposed to be uh, capable of around 20 volts, uh, 3.25 amp charging. And currently it is charging at around that. So that is quite good to know. Let's check the other charging port input, whether we can charge with the other input as well. Yeah, it is the same. So it is also charging with the same power input. So let's charge it for some time. In the meanwhile, I'll unbox the other power banks. Now let's check out the 65 watt, 30,000 milliamp hour power bank. So this is the power bank itself. It is not that light. And because uh, this is a 30,000 milliamp hour, it is quite bulky. And it also comes with a USB type C to C cable, same as the one that is included in the 100 watt power bank. And these are the user manual. Now let's check if there is any charge in this power bank. So it has 100% charge. That's the 30,000 milliamp hour. And now let's check out the 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. Uh, this has a fast charging of uh, around 22.5 watts. That is a normal standard uh, charging uh, capability of a cell phone. However, these power banks with higher power ratings uh, will be useful for charging your laptops with power delivery inputs as well. Okay, this is a 22.5 watt power bank. It comes with a user manual and some stickers, but there is no cable included in this. This is a budget power bank. Let's check if there is any charge in here. So it comes with a 79% charge. So that's it. And uh, now finally let's unbox uh, the smallest one. This is the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And this one also doesn't come with any cables. It includes a user manual in English and other languages. So that's good. And this is the 22.5 watt 
10,000 milliamp hour power bank and this is quite thin compared to the other power banks that I have right now and let's check out the ports so that's quite good and let's also check how much power it comes with okay this also doesn't come with any power so I need to charge this as well so there might be some issue with the self discharging uh, with these power banks if you keep it for long so, and it takes a long time to ship uh, these power banks uh, because it has batteries in it and let's remove the protective covers for better view now i'm charging the 100 watt power bank and the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank and some interesting things that i have noticed with the 100 watt power bank is the interface led here the display is quite intuitive shows you the power input that is 20 volt uh, 3.1 amp power input and that is quite accurate as per the measurement that we have conducted and another thing that is important is it is going to show you the amount of time remaining to fully charge this power bank there is a clock symbol there and currently it is uh, one hour one minute remaining with the current power input so there is quite uh, a good interface and a quite a good display useful for us and in this case also it's showing input as the power bank is getting charged and this is the power percentage or the battery level currently is zero and it is not accepting a uh, fast charging because the battery voltage is too low so that protection feature is also quite good because if the battery voltage gets too low it doesn't want to charge at the full 18 watts or 20 watts of power input now let's check the weight of these power banks how much they weigh as a reference i'll be using the 20,000 milliamp hour xiaomi power bank this has a plastic case so this one weighs 440 grams now let's check the 30,000 milliamp hour power bank this also has a plastic case this one weighs 531 grams now let's check the 20,000 milliamp hour 100 watt power bank this one weighs 498 grams and this is the 20,000 milliamp hour metal case power bank i think this is an aluminum case and this one weighs only 396 grams so uh, this one has a uh, quite a lower price range and it doesn't support uh, power delivery charging unlike the uh, xiaomi one and so the weight difference uh, is quite a lot and finally let's check the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank and this one is the lightest as expected at 242 grams so comparatively uh, as for the baseline this is the xiaomi power bank baseline i think these power banks have a uh, capacity which is uh, as expected however i'm not sure about the capacity battery capacity of these power banks because they weigh quite uh, lesser than our baseline but since they don't have extra circuitry for the power delivery and other quick charging protocols uh, that may be the case now let's verify the output capabilities of the power bank let's check the interfaces uh, it has uh, four usb a ports one usb c input and output port there is also a micro usb input port as well as iphone lightning connector input so it features all of the possible inputs that you can find uh, anywhere in any device so that is quite good let's verify the specifications here so in order to do that i'll be using the my usb power meter here let's go to protocol detection so that is correct the usb type c outputs 65 watts of power uh, with the pd power delivery 3.0 protocol and it also has the other protocols like the qc2 of up to 20 volts so that is as per the specification now let's check the output of the usb type a okay that is also correct it is supporting qc 2.0 up to 20 volts that is as per specification and it also supports qc 3.0 the other usb ports which doesn't support the quick charging so as expected uh, it supports only 5 volts power output now let's check the input capability of this power bank uh, it is currently charging and you can see the input symbol here and and you can also toggle the display here it is charging at around 20 volts at 3 amps that is around 60 watts so that is correct uh, it is supposed to support up to 65 watts the current capacity is 95 percent and if you press the power button here then it will go to the input voltage that is 19.1 volts that is displayed here and the current can also be seen if you press the power button again then that is currently 2.6 amps there is 2.7 amps so that is actually quite accurate for this power bank and if you press again it goes back to the remaining capacity so that is also quite good uh, display and you can even though you cannot see well on the camera you can see with your eyes so i think the specifications of the power bank holes and uh, 
and I think it's quite a good power bank that is currently available in the market. Uh, if you want a huge battery backup, then it is quite a good power bank and it will be able to support the charge or power delivery capable laptops. So if your laptop is uh, up to 65 watts, then you'll be able to charge it. And now let's check, go to the 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. Let's check the type C power output. So it supports uh, power delivery 22 watts. So that is as per as expected specification and it also supports uh, QC 2.0 12 volts that is also as per expected and it also supports the uh, Huawei uh, protocols and the Samsung 12 volt protocol so that is quite good so this power bank is built for mobile phones mainly now let's check the USB A outputs okay the USB A outputs are also the same it has a lot of uh, protocols but it doesn't have power delivery protocol because PT is only for USB type C and it supports QC2, QC3 up to 12 volts, Samsung 9 volt in this case and Huawei protocols as well let's check the another one that is the same with the previous USB A port so the output configurations are actually correct now let's check the charging uh, capability of the power banks let's check the input capability of this power bank now now it's currently charging at 9 volts 2 amps that is 18 watts so that is correct as per the specification so the power bank checks out all the specified outputs and inputs now let's check the capabilities of this 10,000 milliamp hour power bank okay, let's go to protocol detection for the USB type C port okay it supports PD 3.0 at 22 watts uh, it supports QC2 QC3 up 12 volts Samsung 12 volts and Huawei protocols now let's check the USB type A outputs okay in this case there is no PD because this is USB type A and it has QC 2.0 QC 3.0 up to 12 volts Samsung and Huawei up to 12 volts at 25 watts so that is quite good let's check the another one so this is also correct now let's check the charging capability now the power bank is charging at 9 volts 2 amps that is 18 watts so that is as per the specified output and input capability so the power bank is as per specification and it's quite good and this one is quite light uh, even though it has a metal case and there is a power button to check the remaining capacity of the power bank and so on and it also has all the ports the usb type c port the micro usb port the iphone port input as well as the usb type a outputs and finally let's check the capabilities of the 100 watt power bank we have already tested the charging capabilities but let's check it again so this is a charging test as we have seen previously uh, it is currently charging at around 63 watts and the input voltage is 19 volts and 3.2 amps so that is actually quite accurate is if you see here 19 volts 3.1 amps that is what is displayed in the power meter and quite accurate and in the short amount of time that we have been charging it has already charged up to 43 percent and the remaining uh, charging time is 43 uh, minutes so that so the power bank uh, can charge quite quickly now let's check the output capabilities of this power bank here you can see the output as well the output is 5.1 volts uh, 0 amps so let's go to the protocol detection usb type c1 power output is showing 60 watts only so the protocol detection could detect only a pd 3.0 60 watts QC 2.0 up to 12 volts, Samsung and Huawei uh, charging protocols. Let's check the other one. So I need to verify uh, whether it can support up to 100 watts output because the protocol detection is not able to detect 100 watts. So I'll check that later. Now let's check the USB A outputs. The USB Type A output is as expected. Let's check the another one. Okay, the second USB A output is also correct as per the specification. Now I need to check whether the Output of the USB Type C power delivery is capable of 100 watts as per their claim. So, for that, I'll be using an electronic load. So, this is the electronic load that I'll be using. So I'll go to PD trigger here and I'll trigger a 20 volt power delivery output from this power bank. And I'll load the power bank with 5 amps and it should be able to handle the 100 watt output as per the specification. Let's go to PD trigger. Here it shows 20 volts 5 amps that is correct now i have triggered the 20 volts output from the power bank as we can see here the output is 20 volts here 20 volts and 20 volts now let's ramp up the current okay now it is drawing 1 amps let's go to 2 amps okay 2 amps that is correct let's go to 3 amps okay 3 amps is correct 4 amps so 4 amps is also correct and 5 amps so it is drawing 20 volts 5 amps here and there is also 19 volts 
5 amps here if you can check here you can see it is drawing 96 watts of power at 19 volts 4.9 amps and there is some cable loss because of the cable loss the voltage has reduced dramatically at the load the, but the output is correct at 20 volts 5.1 amps and here it says the power bank can power this load for only 15 minutes that is the time remaining currently the power bank has 42 percent of charge this confirms that the output capability of the power bank is actually 100 watts and it is really able to handle the amount of power output that is claimed by the manufacturer. So I think the uh, power banks are uh, quite nicely made. This is the latest power bank and it meets all the specifications that uh, the manufacturer claims. Next one is the 30,000 milliamp hour 65 watts uh, power bank. This is also quite good even though it is quite heavy and the budget ones are these ones uh, these are the 20,000 and 10,000 milliamp hour uh, power banks and these also support power delivery of up to 22 watts and I like this uh, power bank and I may be using it to uh, charge my laptops and so on so that is going to be quite useful actually both of them can charge the laptops so if your laptop has a power delivery input and it is up to 100 watts uh, in this case then you will be able to charge it and if you have a laptop which is up to 65 watts with a power delivery input then you can actually use this power bank to charge it so that is quite good so that's it for today i think these power banks are quite good and if you like uh, to know more details about these power banks then please let me know in the comment section and i have given the purchase links of these power banks in the description below please check it out and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching i'll see you next time